So the mining sector during 2022 has made positive strides towards climate change mitigation. Um, however, there is still a uh, huge variation in, in commitments from different companies within different regions, within different commodities and materials. Um, you know, and, and we still need to bear in mind that although there's a number of nice press releases and commitments, the reality is 2021 was a peak year in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. And, um, you know, the mining sector really does have a long way to go if we're going to uh, reach our, our climate, our Paris Agreement climate goals. So I think the most exciting industry development may be a bit sneaky, but I, it was actually during 2021 um, with the ICMM members' commitments to net zero uh, by 2050. I think that's a real statement of intent. Um, what we would like to see is that these commitments uh, would include scope three, uh, especially upstream scope three emissions. Um, but yeah, that's really the, the most exciting development since uh, over the last few years. And um, we've seen a number of specific exciting projects, um, whether it's renewable energy adoption on site or innovations in mining equipment, such as um, electric haulage trucks or some instances of uh, attempting hydrogen within, within haulage trucks. Um, but I will stick with the ICMM commitments. So Enviro, um, we're, we're very passionate and uh, have the privilege of working with mining and metals companies to, to measure and mitigate the environmental impact of their, their products and processes. Um, and we do this through consultancy and technology, but I think the most exciting development for us during 2022 has been the, the launch um, of our tool Mine LCA. Um, this has allowed mining and metals companies and engineering firms to, to basically model, um, you know, create almost digital twins of their operations and really understand where their climate change hotspots are and simulate alternatives. So this might be, you know, changing combustion vehicle trucks, haulage trucks to um, electric trucks or, you know, maybe changing pit designs. Um, so yeah, I think this is a really exciting development and it's really exciting to see how uh, the commercial companies are, are generating value out of, out of a tool that we've developed over the last few years. So I think the mining industry um, can do many things better uh, with, with relation to climate change. I think firstly we need uh, a minimum standard really, uh, I mean it's great to have the ICMM member commitments to, to net zero, uh, but we really should in evolve the industry to, to have a minimum standard of what, sh what should be required in terms of uh, climate change data um, within sustainability reporting, consistent methodologies. Um, you know, and the inclusion of upstream scope three emissions as well and downstream scope three emissions. So I think we need to get to a, a level playing field so so we can actually see what good performance looks like. Um, at the moment, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mosaic of methodologies, which makes it very difficult to compare. So, um, yeah, I think the industry could do better in terms of just carry uh, understand where they, they sit at the moment and understanding where the opportunities lie for impact reduction. I also think that we need to um, raise the standard across the different commodities because you know there's technology metals tend to have a high standard. They, there's a lot of pressure from the OEMs uh, and the investors, but that might not be the case in say some other materials, whether that's you know base metals or gold. Um, the standards might not be quite as high. The demands might not be quite as high to have all this environmental data. So I think it's leveling the playing field and and creating a minimum expectation for what is required for, to measure climate change and what is a minimum expectation to create these impact reduction roadmaps. So I think the number one takeaway from participating in digging for climate change is really around, um, you know, the fact that there's, there's a whole ecosystem of of talented, interested people who are looking to solve this this common problem in climate change, and I think um, it's made me more optimistic about uh, the industry as a whole to be able to reach these targets. And I think it's 
It's made me, made me sort of encouraged by the, the collaborative um, approach to solving these problems. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a really positive output from contributing to digging for climate change.